Hello everyone, this is Inferno Zero, and I'm back again, but this time with, with my top 10 figures of 2023. With the year almost over, and I have made a lot of purchases, a lot that I am very happy with, and a lot I regret. Mostly because of two individuals, particularly, that have, be have been murdering my wallet for the last, like, year, two years. So, yeah. But other than that, I have made a lot of good purchases and made a list of my top ten figures over the last year. With, like, the best purchase, which I will save for last, but that isn't a figure. So, to start this list off, let's go with number 10, which is the third-party Optimus Light of Peace EX. This figure, like, I... I always been, like, a fan of Transformers, and, like, this is made in my top 10 because it's, like, the most screen-accurate accurate Optimus Prime that I've ever seen. Not only, like, the... Is it look one to one to the cartoon, but you can barely even tell it transforms. Like there's, you know, there's like lines all over the place, and there's like a little gap right here. But other than that, it just looks amazing. And the reason, another reason why I made it in my top ten is because of why I got this figure. It's my first third party transformer, but the reason for it is because over the year I actually met Peter Colin at a con, got his autograph, had the worst line experience of my life. Because, my god, Transformers fan need to relax. And after meeting him in person, I just had to get a figure of his G1 appearance. Because getting the movie versions were a difficult task. But while this is like my favorite made into my top 10, the reason it's not higher on the list is because of the legs. Like, they are just so tight that I feel like if I try to move it, that I'm going to rip it off. That I'm going to break something. And while I there might be a way for me to fix it, I don't really know. Like, there are screws right here that I could probably fix. But other than that, I do not really want to mess with anything right now until I know a, a sure way to fix it. But other than that, it doesn't mean he's bad. He comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with, like, face, his gun, his axe, and a jetpack. Which I do not have on him because he just looks amazing like that. And he'll definitely be on my shelf with right next to my Optimus Prime signature. And my Rhinox. But other than that, if this is number 10, then oh boy, we have a great year. Now for number 9, it's actually something that I never expected would happen. And that is the full action Kill Yujin from King Oger. I just want to say I... This man will this because not only is this design amazing, I love Cure Uger and Dino Charge, but the fact that with three set like two Sentais giving articulation to the mechs, that they went back for the tenth year of Cure Uger and gave this design articulation in the arms and legs and even the feet, it's just amazing. Like I just I hope this doesn't stop with just Cure Uger. I hope this actually, like, spreads into, like, the other line as well, because we all have, like, our favorite Robo design from this all the past Sentai's, and I think just having it articulated, but not as a mini plot, would just be perfect. So, like, I just, like, every time I, I handle this guy, I just, like, fall more and more in love with him. That's what, to the point that he made in my top ten, and I just love it so much, like, even, like, the dinosaur head has, like, articulation, and that just works so well. Plus the fact that he can combine with King Oger to make another form that's just as good. Like, I, I definitely recommend it for any Sentai fans or any Kyoyuger fans, because this is definitely a, f a figure if you love the season, or just love the mech design at all. For number 8 on my list, we have the SH Figure Arts LA King. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite kaiju designs from Ultraman. Like, it just looks so weird, but so, like, adorable at the same time. So I don't know how to describe it. And the figure does, like, an amazing job, like, to do it. 
He's very articulated and has a giant, massive tail. Look at how many ball joints that is. Like, plus, not to mention, you can remove like part of the tail to have like this cool effect where it looks like he's wrapping around the ultra in order to attack. I think even these are like can rotate, but I'm not sure because I think my version my version is kind of tight, so I don't want to break anything. But yeah, like. So you have favorite kaiju design, and they did wonders for this figure. I like just, I love it so much. I, I know there's probably not a lot of Ellie King fans, but I just love this. Like, it's just so derpy and goofy, and I, it just makes me smile every time. Not to mention like the scene where in Decker where he just like tried to be so like polite and actually just start fighting him. It's so, so cute. For number seven, it's actually the first time I've looked at ever of a figure of this line, but it's the Nendoroid Suzuki Irma from Welcome to Demon School Irma Kun. Like, I d never really got into this line as much, but when I, I definitely loved like the show in the mo like the manga and the anime, so I had to get this figure. And honestly, it was a lot better than I expected. Like, his articulation is very limited due to the sculpt and the style of. Um, the line being chibi with like the tiny body and the giant head, but it did really well for this. Like he looks exactly like he did in the show. He does come with like a few accessories, like like he comes with a fork and knife. He comes with his little familiar. And honestly, I just really love it so much. Like I don't know why, but it's definitely like, a good introduction to the line. I have the Nendori Shin Kamen Rider coming soon, and I'm hoping that would be just as good. Probably won't make it into my top 10 for next year since it's from this year. But still, like, honestly, I just never expected, like, this to make it my top 10, but I'm happy it did. Like, I love this. I love the character so much. He definitely, like, he's, like, one of the characters that you just feel, like, like, so happy when he does something, like, amazing. Like, and he just, like, he just doesn't, he's just the goodest boy. I don't know how else to explain it. He's just the goodest boy. But yeah, like I definitely recommend this figure if you love the show. And I definitely hope to make the friends soon. I could definitely imagine Asmodeus and Clara side by side. That would be a great display to have. But yeah, definitely recommend this guy if you love Welcome to Demon School Irma. Now for number six, we have the SH Figure Arts Kuwagata Oger from King Oger. Like this figure, I definitely enjoy. I enjoy it. I know, like, there's some people that are like, oh, this is, like, peak Sentai, this is not. But I definitely enjoy King Oger. Like, the show has been really well. I think it does a lot better in the first half before the space arc. Like, spoilers. But still, like, the figure does an amazing job of portraying it. All the joints are nice and solid. The hand does get a little bit loose, but if you find a good grip with the sword, like, it, it does wonders. And they... And while the cape, like, is, like, soft plastic, it doesn't really limited articulation that much but i did order the sh upgrade for the to have this replaced with like a cloth cape so that way it will just get more dynamic poses but yeah besides that like it's design wise it's not my favorite sentai i think if it had like a little bit more silver or like changes in the red throughout the suit it would just be look way better but yeah besides that it's honestly really good i recommend it for sentai fans and yeah the the grip was, like, a little bit loose because I had him, like, holding the sword, like, in his, like, in his p signature pose. But, yeah, besides that, like, it does work well. And I def I have to say, I actually really loved, like, the suit. Like, even the logo is nice and printed on, if you see right there. But, yeah, like, definitely a great Sentai figure. I really am glad they decided to keep this up. And when they give, give us, um, Kill You Red... Like, I'm going to pre-order, like, I'm going to have so much fun with that. But I'm also hoping, like, they do, like, the other, like, members, too. Because having just the main hero of the team is just a little bit boring. But then again, I hope we also get spider Kumanos. Now we are at the top five. And starting off with that list is the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Shadow Moon from Black Sun. Like, this design has to be my favorite for Shadow Moon. He looks so menacing, so evil, and I love it for him. 
like and the show like he started black sun was oh my god like amazing like words can't describe it like i love this show so much i'm glad they made a figure of this because he just looks exactly like he did out of the show and he comes with a civilian like form where you get like an optional head where his eyes are green even the satan sword <sighs> sorry just out of breath but yeah like he, he does like even though he's just like a pose like this, he does so much. Plus the fact you get like the alternate chest piece where it looks like he rips out his legs to use for swords. Just perfect. And he, his articul articulation is really well. But he is very spiky though. I feel like I'm going to cut myself every time I pose him. And especially with the legs, I feel like these are definitely a danger. But if you take this into consideration when you pose him, you'll have like a good, a great time with the figure. And I especially can't wait to get that CSM. I ordered the Chinese, the China version, or the China release, and that's definitely gonna be great to have on display. Might have to work on a Black Sun display, but yeah, like definitely recommend this guy if you love Shao Moon, if you if you love um Black Sun, and yeah, like this is definitely like a great way to start off the top five. Put them right over here, so we can get on to number four. And for number four, we actually have another Transformer. In this case, it's an official Transformer of the Studio Series 86, Ultra Magnus. Now, Ultra Magnus is definitely one of my favorite, like, designs of the G1 cartoon. Because he's just, like, big and bulky and he just, like, has a giant presence. But Hasbro and Takara did a great job in replicating this. But not only that, he, in the original, like, version, it's like, he would just be, like, a a white optimist that you just plug into the chest with the, the trailer being the rest of the parts for ultra magnus but they somehow converted that into an act that this actually transforms into the truck and the trailer without having it to split apart or having like ultra magnus be like another optimus prime stuffed into the chest like it was a great way to design it Articulation, articulation wise, like he's very poseable. You get some nice joints all across the figure that makes it nice and sturdy. You get even like the pivot or like the ankle pivot could have been like a little bit better, but still, like you just get enough to get classic poses. Plus, you get effect parts too. Like these are the small parts, but it does come with like big versions. Like for eat for big giant blasts, and yeah, like I was just like so happy I pre-ordered this guy. Like he's like amazing. Plus the fact that if you lift up this part, you get the Matrix of Leadership, and the fact that just like in the movie, you can rip him apart limb by limb so he'll look dead just like he did in the movie. Cause I don't know why, but. I just want to say he should have been a prime. I will say this right now: he should have been the next prime, not. Hot Rod, get Hot Rod out of here. Which is funny because I don't even have Hot Rod, but I probably will someday. But right now I'm so I'm happy with just Ultra Magnus because my God, I love this Transformer. For number three in the top three, and this is definitely one of my favorite figures of the entire year, is the SKC Common Rider Fies. Like the fact that they improved on the design so much. For like it's anniversary. Especially with the movie coming up. It's like amazing. He looks like exactly like he did in the show. Getting him in this pose though was a bit of a hassle. But I think I did my best job. He comes with so much accessories. Except for the sword. But thankfully I did the. SHF upgrade and got his sword. Which I will give to. The next SKC of him. Of this figure which will be. Five's next. His movie form. Which honestly I prefer this form over five next. But still, like, they did a great job. I also love how the shoulders, like, are, instead of being attached to, like, the joints, are actually attached to the chest piece with a strap. Be careful of that. But besides that, like, he, did, he just works amazing. Like, I love this so much. And especially after I rewatched all of Fies and did a lot of heavy purchases of the CSMs. I, again, I blame Brokusatsu and Photobiz. But yeah, definitely like a great figure to have. I highly recommend it, highly, especially for Fies fans. And I know you'll all have a great time with the movie too. 
a great number three for the top for the top list. But let's go on to the second one. For number two, um, we actually have the Common Rider Geeks SH Figure Arts. I just want to say, like, this whole line has been like the best, like, standard grade, like, SH Figure Arts line. Not the fact that it doesn't. Not only does it look great, like it does look, looks exactly like it does in the show, but also it comes with the the form change gimmick, which is like something that I you usually expect with like the SK, SKCs. But to have it on the main line figure is just amazing. All the all the different possibilities. Sorry, I keep messing up my words. Not only with Geats, but also with Buffa, Tycoon, Nago, um, Punk Jack, and even the entry form sets. It's just amazing. I'm so glad they did this line. I'm I am disappointed that with Gotchard we're gonna lose the gimmick, but at least we had we had a good run with it. But yeah, like the posability on this guy is amazing. It looks exactly like in the show, and I'm just like I always have fun with the form change gimmick. It's always a blast. Definitely like my second favorite figure of the year. But now it's for the first one. But before that, let's have some honorable mentions. For these honorable mentions, I would just say like that I didn't hate them. I just like didn't think they were good enough to enter in my top 10 list. But I still love them either way. Starting off, we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Minus One. This was like an amazing figure from the best Godzilla film I've ever seen. I definitely enjoyed it. Like the figure could be better. Definitely could have used an effect part. Bandai or Tamashi Nation. Like seriously, if you're making a laser breathing dr like monster, give it effect parts. I will give you a pass with the blue eyes white dragon, the red eyes black dragon, which both of them are on pre-order and I'm so excited to get them. Then we have the Ultraman Z Thetium figure. Like this figure was definitely like I really wanted it. Not only for Ultraman Z because it's awesome, but also for Bill Rock. The sword, like it's my favorite character of Z. No one could beat that. Plus, he comes with a, a cool laser effect part, which makes this figure worth it. Then we have the SH Figuarts Kamen Rider Birth and Sasori set. Like this. Like, while they are separate figures, I definitely enjoy both of them. The Sasuke set does, like, limit articulation somewhat, but it still looks amazing. It looks intimidating, but... Then we have the Mafex Scarlet Spider. This is my first ever Mafex figure, and it was a great start to it. Like, he just looks amazing, just like he did in the cart or like the, the comics. But yeah, like, I definitely had a lot of fun with this guy over the year. I didn't really take any photos yet. I'm still working on trying to get good Spider-Man photos. Um, then we have the SH Figuarts um, Mash from Magic and Muscle. This I definitely enjoyed the anime and manga, and I'm for the anime. I'm looking forward to the second season. Get him like snacking on this little cream puff, like this. Cape does kind of, like, annoy me a bit, but at least it's, like, very soft plastic. I also would put the Chainsaw Man SH Figuarts on here, too, but that is in the back of my uh, collection, so... And I'm still doing, like, some workarounds with organizing, so I can't really get that right now. And finally, I would also put, um... King Oger Zero. Like, with the King Oger line, they definitely, like improved it with the articulation but i just like but the black and gold works so well on this especially after Rackle's um return and discovering that he's actually well you'll see in the show but yeah all these are my honorable mentions i definitely enjoyed all of them in the show or in like in figure form but now it's time for number one finally my number one figure of 2023 is a figure that I never expected to get a, a reissue, but they did an amazing job, and that is the SKC Gokai Red. This figure is, like, amazing. When they redid, like, it's exactly even better than the first SH Figure Arts they did. It has a bunch of accessories, not only with the 
sword and the gun, but also with the Gokai Cellular and the Ranger Keys. That can still plug into the weapons. Like, the articulation is amazing. Like, it's way better than it did before. Way sturdier. And the detail is just out of the world. Out of this world. Like, it was the most figure I was looking forward to the entire year. And I am so glad I got this. And what I'm having... I'm definitely going to make a big dis a red display with him. Um, Zen Kaiger... Don Momotaro, Kuagda Oger, and Kyoyu Red, and I just hope they keep this up, because I would love to see more, like, old figures getting, like, reissues. Even though I'm seeing more Sentai figures, like, like, Kira Major, um, Yu Soldier, Lupin vs. Pat, even Q Ranger, like, all... All these seasons deserve like their fair share of love, and if they if they redid the old Sentai's and made it this good, then I'm looking forward to what they have in the future. So yeah, this is my favorite figure of 2023. I know some people might disagree, but for me, this is just personal taste. But as for my per favorite purchase of the year, it's not him. My favorite purchase. Was something I never thought would happen. And I am so glad to have my collection. And it will be revealed right now. That's right. It's a guy like photo of the poster signed by Fruit Jesus himself, Common Rider Guy. He arrived to a con this year, I think Jap Japan World Heroes. And I got I bought his autograph online on the official site, and I am Every time I look at this, I'm just so happy. Like, I'm going to get this frame, I'm going to get this, like, on my wall, but I'm just like, this is definitely the best um, purchase I've done all year. Like, that will be, I'm keeping that forever, like, I'm never going to sell that. It's, it's just, I'm just smiling every time I see that. Like, it was definitely, like, worth the price. And while this wasn't, like, the image I originally selected, like, it was. It still like works just as well. And who knows? Maybe a Baron Zengetsu, the person I don't like, arrive. I can get their autographs too and have like a little, like I had this filled with all the guy monographs. I don't know. I doubt that would happen. But I am so excited for when more common writers come, especially with Power Morphicon coming next year, which I won't be attending. But I am happy to. I'm hoping they'll be selling autographs too. And that is my top 10 figure list of the year. Um, it may be different from others, but I definitely had a blast with it. There are like some figures I did get that I still enjoyed, like this Studio Series Blackouts that my aunt actually got me for Christmas. Thank But yeah, like, I had a great year, and I just want to say thank you so much for everyone, all my friends, all my, my family. Um... It was definitely a great year. I hope that next year will be good too. Like as for what's going on with the schedule, um, I am like still working on college, so my videos are still a bit delayed. I do want to go back into reviews, but I'm also happy with like the Inferno TCG series that I started why a while ago that I'm looking forward to. I'm definitely getting another um booster box of Phase EX that I want to open a review. I'm definitely gonna be might be getting, I do might want to get another phase one or two, just so I see what other polls I get. But yeah, I like, definitely had a great year. I made a bunch of new, I had fun with my friends, Brokusatsu, the fo took a photo biz. Um, they've been terrorizing, terrorizing my wallet ever since. I made a new friend with Kamen Rider Geek, a YouTuber who um, I met during one of my Mercari sales, and he is actually a really nice dude. Um, and he even did his videos, like he done, he did recently, uh, four, four boxes of phase two, and he got some great polls, though I got the better poll. And yeah, I'll leave a link into, in the description below, um, of his channel. Like, sorry, my hair is like messed up. Um, but yeah, I had a great year. I hope 2024 will be just as great. And I'll see you guys next time. Um, 
Have a great year, and I'll see you when I can. Later.